All right, it's time for Doki Doki. Sorry about the boring intro. Yeah, no, we're back. Doki Doki. God, I am tired today. Why is my game so quiet? Okay. Should be better now. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it was about time to meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Cookie! Well, there, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently we've picked up that habit once again. Cookie, are you proud of me? Huh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we go to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Now it's too loud. Sayori, are you messing with my volume settings? Cut that out. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I am proud of you, Sayori. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. Cool. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Cookie, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not... It's hard to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club I saw from the flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Cookie? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Uh, I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the cookie that, that Sayori's always talking about? Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cookie. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Tatsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy, quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the aggressive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. We're working? Cookie, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah! I can't scream, guys. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. <laughs> Well, if Sayori's this happy, then I'm sure it won't be be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now, which means we can have become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly ma- pr pr proudly proudly ma- mar <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ah! Natsuki lifts the foil tray to reveal a dozen fluffy- a dozen white fluffy cupcakes dressed, uh, decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn on with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, then I follow. It's delicious! 
So where he talks with her mouth full and she's already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Yes, I am a cupcake connoisseur, Natsuki. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, hold carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting the teapot down next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a, nu doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress a new member, Yuri? Uh, th th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I could never be into someone like that. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Cookie, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri turns the, the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling such a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm sure we could find something we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Uh? Well, about, you know, the first thing you said? Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besi besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Cookie wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it'd be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Cookie? Maybe. Since in the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we could all try something new. I think it could be fun, and we could get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? That'd make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm the only, if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, uh, uh, I have to read manga. You should read what's that fucking? I know I already said it in this series, but she used to read um, what's it called? Little Red to uh, Riding Hood of Japan of Tokyo or of Japan or something. Shut up. The one where she's obsessed with finding the big bad wolf and she wants him to like crawl inside her or something. I don't remember it. It's really gross. Yuri, you need to read that. You'd love it. Jeez, you're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I'm re I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You, you can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit a bookstore after the club meeting. Jeez, just you? Oh, j just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Yes, kiss, what? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayor, shut up. We both think this is cute, but we need to be quiet. What? I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yeah, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Cookie. You think so? Well, everyone seems so seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, oh, Cookie. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine.
We're gonna make it the best club ever. And now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Cookie, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything, but the truth is I already, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Shut up, phone. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Cookie. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now, Jesus, that surprised me. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this, with you. Oh god, forever and ever. Uh, er, eh, uh, er. No. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts. Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Cookie. Goodbye, Literature Club. Fuck! What, but Natsuki and Yuri didn't do anything. <laughs> Especially Natsuki. I hear you, Monica. Uh, can you hear me? Uh-huh. Hi. Hi, it's me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet. Like, at all. But... but I wrote you a song. Woo! And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really... Guys, I'm bad at singing, but I have to sing along. I'm sorry. Do do do. Damn it. You guys are going to get to hear me sing. Woo, everyone's favorite. Boo do 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 do. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that'll write a poem of me and you. The ink flows down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find? That special day. God damn it, guys. I'm sorry. I have to. I love this song. I love this game. Uh, I love this fucking... <laughs> have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? No, Natsuki! Do, 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 do. When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. No! Doom, ba, doom, do, doom, do, doom. If it can't even read my own feelings, what good are words when a smile says it all? And if this world won't write me an ending, what will it take just for me to have it all? Do 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 Aw, oh, the photos I didn't get. Have I pen? Only write bitter words for those who are dear to me. Is it love if I take you or is it love if I set you free? Aw, oh, my girl Sayori. Hi, Monica. The ink flows down into a dark puddle. Look at all those fucking... Those translations. Great. Reality. <laughs> if I can't hear the sound of your heartbeat, what do you call love and your reality? <laughs> and your reality. If I don't know how to love you... I'll leave you be. Oh, dude, this fucking game, I swear to Christ. <sighs> Yay! Doki Doki! 
This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. A li the literature club is a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, and most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Oh, so good. Pictures. Got the goodbye poem. Is that all I got? Nothing else? And I got your reality, right? Your reality. Come on, guys. Your reality. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching. I know this was a shorter one um, than the rest of them. I'm going to play Yuri and Sayori's things in my spare time so I can, especially Sayori's, so that I can get the side stories. Um, th I think there's two more. Uh, and then, and then we'll be done. I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm thrilled. The end. <laughs> Bye, thank you so much for watching, is what I meant to say. See you around, fuckers.